Now, I totally believe this, but as I say, church and Christians, we've not done a great job in communicating this. And sometimes we reduce it down and we oversimplify things and we say, well, therefore, all mental health problems is somehow linked to sin, something you've done wrong. Maybe it's because uh, a lack of faith you have. So when people want to take medication to alleviate distress, when people want to engage in therapy, which has its place, absolutely, I'm a therapist, the church can sometimes put a bit of a stigma on things, as though somehow it's talking about your relationship with God. But sin is only one cause of psychological distress. So friends, if that has been your experience, I am really sorry. In fact, this isn't Jesus' heart at all. In John chapter 9, some religious people come along to Jesus and they say, look, this man has been suffering his whole life. What sin did he or his family commit? And Jesus just kind of looks at them and says, guys, oh my goodness, this guy hasn't committed a sin His family haven't done anything wrong. This guy's just been born this way. There's suffering. But you know what? There's other reasons for this. So if that has been your experience of church and Christianity, if you're one of the 26% that have experienced a mental health disorder and you experience stigma because of it, I'm so sorry. If you enjoyed this video today, why don't you click subscribe and click on that notification bell to get a notification the next time we upload a video. And if you're new or you've been coming to the C3 Church for a little while now, why don't you find out what your next step might be in the journey of faith? Click on the next step link in the description below to find out what your next step in your journey might be.